Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is uh, the Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the X-Men Origins Wolverine um, jacket version of him. Uh, this one I think looks really cool. I was really, I, I think this one's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so here he is from the front. He has the gold lining around here in the next logo here with the gold lining around that too. Wolverine uh, with the white highlight there. Marvel Legends logo. And you get the X logo with the gold lining there too. With the Marvel Legends logo. And a silhouette of the Wolverine with the jacket. Same deal on the back there. Same deal on the other side. Uh, and then not much on the bottom besides the DCPI for you guys. Uh, but besides that, let's crack this guy open. So here he is on the packaging here. So he comes with a few accessories, not a whole lot. Uh, so he comes with this extra head here with this screaming Logan head. I think it looks like him. The only thing that bothers me is a little bit like the teeth, I guess. Little focus. It doesn't look quite right. It looks like he had a bunch of cavities or something going on there, but I mean, they can't do much about that because it's so tiny, so. Yeah, and I guess uh, I'll get right into it in a second here, actually. Uh, and then he has two unclawed hands, fisted. So I think they could have done at least a uh, maybe relaxed hands for him, but I don't care really that much. So, um, But besides that, let's go through the, figure, it, the guy itself. So as I was about to say, um, I think these, these head sculpts are more... Um, more accurate to the x-men origins compared to the other one which i will do a comparison here in a second a little bit after i'm done going through this figure uh i think the other one looks a lot more like the x2 version of wolverine whereas this one's more like x-men origins wolverine uh so yeah because it has the longer hair and it's more floof back like that so uh this one they look a lot like huge Jackman, though i will say that um so yeah i like it a lot they did a good job on the paint here for his hair too so really good job you get the flannel looking shirt underneath the jacket here so they did a good job there and you get a little white shirt there uh, i think the red kind of bled over on that but it's not bothering me um and then the jacket it looks just like it from the movie uh, i like the little lighter brown wash there to give it a little bit of a warm look and then a little bit of a darker orange brown or whatever you want to call this uh for that same deal you get the stripes here around there his biceps more brown wash to give it a warm look they did a good job on this they even added like the little button here for like the collar part so and even the other part of it too that's really cool uh, and then you get that little line there um and then yeah and then the this i think the jeans are the same exact as the uh no actually i take the back it's this one's a little bit darker they did the same thing though whereas it's a darker one and they kind of gave it a dem denim look so that's cool and then they have the same belt here so i think it may be the same mold it's just different paint job repaint and then you get brown shoes nothing real special about those um then you have the metal claws uh, which we've seen before, but these are a little bit different. Uh, it's like, this, it, I, I, show, I talked about it earlier, but um, in the last, in that one other Wolverine um, video review. So if you take the claws out, you can, uh, but it just leaves like huge gash right there. So I prefer to keep my claws in like that. So especially since they gave you one of these, you don't have to deal with that. So, 
Uh, yeah, I think they did a good job with the looks here. The only problem that I have really is just this, but I mean, what can you do? Maybe repaint it, paint over or something to get rid of it, but oh well. Uh, I'm not going to because I like to keep my fingers the way they are. Um, so let's go over his articulation here. So it's, he has a double ball dumbbell joint. So he has a ball on the inside and then another ball for the head. So like here, actually. So he has that type of joint. So it's not quite the best for going up and down, but it's really good for pivoting. I'll show you in a second, but you can look down now a whole lot up just a little bit uh you get left and right and then you get some a lot of head pivoting more than the uh, um disc and ball joint so i prefer the disc and ball joint because you get a little bit of head pivoting and way more up and down motion but oh well um and then his shoulders can go way past 90 degrees which i like a lot uh he does have a bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows, which you go past 90 degrees there. His wrists can hinge down that far, really good. And then up, now a whole lot, mainly because this kind of gets in the way, so you can't really do much about that one. 360 rotation. Uh, he does have an app crunch, so you can go forward that far. Not bad. And then backwards, now a whole lot because of the jacket. He does have a waist swivel, so you can get him to go 360 rotation there. He could kick out pretty far for Wolverine. He could kick forward really far for Wolverine too. Backwards, now a whole lot. I think it's a little bit more than usual, but yeah. yeah. Uh, he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees, and it's, it looks like he's about to do a butt kick, actually. So they did a good job on this one. Um... His ankles can hinge down just a little bit, not a whole lot. The jeans can get in the way and the boot uh, up, not a whole lot either. But you get some ankle pivot, kind of gets in the way too. So, yeah. And then here is the side-by-side -side comparison with the X-Men uh, Origins um, tank top version of him and the uh, jacket version. So, like I said, I'm probably just going to call this one the x2 version because look at the hair compared to that one so like yeah definitely this one's definitely x2 this one's definitely x-men origins but if you want to give it a more accurate look just i think you should be able to swap heads here so maybe do something like this so yeah you can definitely swap heads for this and yeah just keep swapping heads if you want um i'm probably just gonna keep mine as is but yeah um, but like I was talking about for the jeans too, this one's a little bit of lighter blue. This one's just like, I guess, darker, worn down jeans, more, more accurate, I think, to what people would usually wear too. So, and then this one has bone claws, whereas this one also has metal claws, but this one came with both metal and bone. So, yeah. Um, but Hasbro did a really good job on these guys. I like them a lot. Um. You could definitely do head swaps with these. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for this. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he... Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, 
gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.